Hey guys, and <coughs> welcome to Cobalt Game Ames. Let, let's play Luigi's Mansion. <coughs> I'm your, your host, Cobalt the Alcorn, and this is the first episode of our Luigi of the Luigi our Luigi's Mansion Let's Play, which is the which is <coughs> the first episode of our first Let's Play, Luigi's Mansion. Um. As I get this started up, I would just like to say that I chose this game for a number of reasons. Specifically because this was one of my first games I ever played. Because, like Luigi, I am the youngest brother and was never allowed to play as first player. Like, oh, even... Even even in multiplayer games, I was never first player. <coughs> Anyways, pressing start here, you can see that I've already started up a file on this. I am just going to select new um this next one. File two. Welcome to up there. It says welcome to your mansion. Or should I say? Oh, mansion, the first one of the spooky elements in this game. Um, as we get this game started, I would just like to say, uh, this is the closest thing uh, Nintendo's ever had to making a horror game. Um, but it's really not that frightening, hmm. even though I was frightened as a child. Anyways, I'm gonna. Go Here we are at the first floor. The foyer or foyer if you're French. And of this. So So here we are in this mansion. Luigi's mansion. We as you saw from that cinematic, we had won it in some sort of contest. Anyway, it's just getting to first base of controls. Um you can move around with the C-stick. Uh, you can toggle the flashlight on and off with B. Um, you can also use inverted controls on your uh, uh, C-stick to uh, move your flashlight up and down or turn the B left and right. Um, that is an uh, important game mechanic if you want to play in the sidestep mode of this game. Mm -hmm. Anyways, if you press A, Mario, you call out for Mario. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I'm actually playing without mm -hmm. um sound because otherwise my audio is gonna be all messed up and all echoey because my computer's microphone will pick it up um, because I don't have my headset yet. Anyways, but that should be coming soon. Um, anyways, Mario. also, if you're near something like a wall, you can use A to check it. Anyways, let's just start by checking this door right here. Locked. What mm -hmm. was that sound? Oh no. Yes, I know what the sound effects are, even though I'm not playing with sound. Yep. Anyways. Ooh. Oh, Steve. Speak to us. Oh. It noticed us. And it dropped the key. Run. Run away. And 
Look at me, I got two. Anyways. So, just going get through the first part of this thing here. Let's head into this door now. And use our key. No, it doesn't magically dissolve into the keyhole like Luigi's Mansion 2. That... I'd actually like this game better than that. I really have no idea. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now again. in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost touching tomfoolery. Anyways, it's nice to greet you. I'm Professor Egad. Egad! It's Egad! This house. I swear it has... It seems to have more house every day. What's a young fella like you doing here around here? Any who... <clears throat> Oh, this looks okay. Alright, youngster, follow oh, lively, follow me, post haste. Oh guys, he says post haste. Elvin Gad or Egad. Yep. Egad. That pun. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where is this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost study. Professor Egad's Ghost Laboratory Research Lab Laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. Yeah, Luigi's head is full of shortening, you know? That cooking oil stuff? Never mind. You won this mansion in contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. Have you considered the, the truth? That there is no mansion, Luigi? Oh, I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you that that mansion just appeared a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion or a what all. It's a what all. But I surely wouldn't be too happy about winning, winning a haunted house. Now I get a look. Now that I get a look at you, I recall the guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, that went up into the mansion without even stopping and. To chat. He never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. I won't stand a chance against those ghosts without m my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with the ghosts so you can rescue your brother, the Ouija. And here we are, on the control screen. Change the controller settings on the pause screen or the options screen. So you can choose between standard or sidestep. It's basically choosing between one which is move Luigi any way you want with your control stick. Or you can basically have dual analog controls where you move Luigi side to side with the control stick. And change the direction he faces with the C stick. Um, are you used to act to use your Ultra Gust 3000 to s vacuum up things? That's going to be your main mechanic in this game. Um, also, you have L, which is shoot out fire, water, or ice. We'll get to that later. Uh, Z is check inventory, and Y is check your map, and X is search with the Game Boy Horror. All of those are rarely, rare, rarely used features. I hope to be using more often. Um, like I said, A is examine or open a door. Or call out for Mario if you're not by anything that needs to be examined. Uh, B is the toggle turning on your flashlight on and off. 
Um, we can stay on, actually, if you stay on the screen for about three minutes, you get a special tune that's been around for, in different sort of video games for a long time now, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> that's vacuum cleaner I, en I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. <clears throat> It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and C stick to check your direction. Yes. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings and they can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. Foil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Um, well, how's about we start your training? They both seem to like darkness and they avoid light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them mom momen uh, momentarily, then it's vacuum time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You will learn more, more that way. That's listening to me gap about it. Anyway, so there's different techniques with, by, with your um, flashlight. You can either swing around real quickly to or you can do the way I like to just have it off most of the time, and then when you're facing the right direction, hit the ghost. Uh, enough, enough, enough to hit the closer to the ghost when you hit them with the flashlight beam. Uh, you will stun them longer. That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Yowzer! Eight ghosts! So there's ten ghosts in all. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool gal in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Hmm. Off we go. Guys. Worst gallery ever. The paintings! They are white canvases! Nothing on them! But anyways... Um, any Whovian will know... Don't blink, Luigi! Don't blink! Anyways, so now let's start with the at search feature I told you. Let's search EGAD! Way to go, genius! Do you have the hang of the at thing yet? Um, what thing? Never mind. Um, are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Now, this is sort of important. Um, it gives you a little background. The ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings. And I traveled them, <coughs> collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, I now have a. I now have, I now have to tell you, a horrifying story. And, he, and Luigi gets all scared. The last ghost I caught here was number twenty-two, Boolosis. But there were lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free losses from the painting, and then they went and turned all my other portraits back too into ghosts too. And if that were enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, 
and they oh, all hid inside. If I told anybody else, they'd probably have me committed. Committed? Committed to what? Oh, he means committed to an insane asylum. I'm sure my portrait goes to somewhere in the mansion. I'll just have to get him back. Now, this guy. Worst guy ever. He takes the spirits of dead people, probably without the family's consent, and turns them into paintings. Yeah. Also, my family, while we were playing this game for the very first time, we got stuck in this room. You like how I sort of synced up my words to mm -hmm. Luigi's head bobbing? Anyways. We never understood how to get out. I mean, Elvin is standing... Uh, yeah, that's his name, Elvin. Uh, he's standing in the way right here, so... What you have to do is talk to him and say, Go back to the lab. All right, then. And with us heading back to the lab, I think I want to end this off here. So... <laughs> So, if you would like to see more, please subscribe. If you want to contact me, or leave a comment below, or email me at slightlycrazycobalt oh, at gmail.com. I will put that at, on, on the screen in below. And, <clears throat> and in the next episode, we will be going to the mansion. See you guys 